We will be relying on the affidavit of PC John Munjama. Who has articulately responded to all the facts that have been raised in the in the application and the affidavit of the application. A, a quick response. Rights have responsibilities. It's our submission that in this case, when an offense has been committed, there are some rights which can be taken away from an accused person. In this respect, Your Honor, we are saying that this motor vehicle has been removed from the hands of the applicant for obvious reasons. An investigation is being carried out. The investigating officer has clearly stated that this motor vehicle is an exhibit. Your Honor, it's my submission that if this motor vehicle is removed from the hands of the investigator, the prosecution's case is likely to be affected, is actually going to be affected greatly. Therefore, Your Honor, we are not, and you can also look at the paragraph, I mean, uh, the affidavit. This exhibit is well taken care of. We have even assured the applicant that this exhibit, the motor vehicle, is not going to be affected. It's in good condition. The applicant was allowed to buy a cover, which is to ensure that the weather does not affect it at all. So that goes to say that the respondent is so is so caring to the extent that he has ensured that the exhibit is well taken care of. What else 
can uh, can the respondent do at the moment your honor this is the next bit and we urge this honorable court to find that if this vehicle is returned to the applicant the prosecution's case will be affected greatly your honor it's true the, the, the investigating officer has attested to that, said that some, the reason why the reports are not yet out is because officers are working in shifts. It is true the corona uh, pandemic has affected everybody, even police officers. They don't uh, all converge in their offices. That is factual, and it has been attested to that. Therefore, the reports will be released when or when the motor vehicle is well processed. The report will also be shared with the defense. It's not that we are going to keep the, 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 the reports. The reports are part of the evidence. We are going to rely on them. There's nothing we have to hide after the investigation is complete. Your Honor, Council has also submitted that the motor vehicle, um, we, we have established that the vehicle is under the name of one Rashida Shabir Balu. Your Honor, even need the investigating team is to return the motor vehicle, we must establish from the said Rashida through an investigation, he could record a statement with the investigation in the, with the investigation team. At the moment, that has not been done. Who are we returning the vehicle to? We must be sure that the affidavit which was on by the said Rashida Shabir is the same Shabir who we are referring to by the NT, uh, by the NTSC search. We cannot just assume and give the motor vehicle to anybody. You don't know the issue of the firearms. We have also stated, uh, um, Mujama has also defined that there was need to get a, a verification from the chairman of the firearm, firearms bureau. The report has also not come to the IO, basically again because of the fact that staff are not working around the clock because of the COVID pandemic. He has stated as much in his update. So when the report is ready, we will also share the same with the defense. You know, we also wish to draw your attention that the accounts which have been uh, free frozen are also a subject of investigation. If we find that there's nothing in that account that relates to this case, we are also will be prudent enough to share that information and we'll be the first people to actually say that the account can be unfrozen. So as we stand, it's still a subject of investigation. Your Honor, I ask this Honorable Court, or I invite this Honorable Court to peruse the affidavit of PC Ninjama and find that our opposing, our opposing of the application is merited. And I'm urging this Honorable Court to find that this application Is without merit. Secondly, the constitutional presumption of innocence has not ceased. The applicant is still presumed innocent. In the available, we have the same thing. The law is very clear. The Italian did 40 times. 